Well, ever since Marvel added that little asterisk to the end of the Thunderbolts title, well, fans have been wondering what that could mean. And now the speculation has reached a fever pitch, suggesting Marvel could be leaning into one of their most successful franchises ever. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about the upcoming Thunderbolts movie, Asterisk, along with the possibilities that this could truly be some big ruse and turn out to be the Dark Avengers. Now before we do that though, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and ring that bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos, and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it truthfully and transparently so you are in the know. Well, it seems like recently Marvel Studios is doing a lot to right the ship. Their latest project, X-Men 97, is truly a big hit and the slate in the upcoming months and years is looking better and better. Now this week they showed up at CinemaCon, and Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige had a lot to say about the Thunderbolts. Now, one of the main things they dove into was the fact that the Thunderbolts title now had a little asterisk on the end of it, and he made it pretty clear it wasn't going to be something they would talk about until after the movie was released. Now, since then, speculation has gone into absolute overdrive, and this combined with some of the new footage from Brave New World, well, now fans have something really to sink their teeth into. Now, in the upcoming Captain America movie, Harrison Ford's character, President Thunderbolt Ross, does indeed ask Sam Wilson to rebuild a new team of Avengers. And this has led to the birth of a lot of theories. Now, many people think the Thunderbolts itself could be named after Thunderbolt Ross and tied directly into the character, maybe potentially becoming the Red Hulk in the upcoming Cap sequel, suggesting that the concept art we've seen isn't the real Thunderbolts, but instead might be somewhat of a decoy team, somewhat like what we saw in James Gunn's Suicide Squad. Now, this all sounds pretty interesting, but the most absolutely compelling theory is that the Thunderbolts ends with the revelation that the team is in fact not the Thunderbolts, but the MCU's version of the Dark Avengers. The presence of the Sentry could basically confirm that, and once the likes of Bucky Barnes, who we heard has a small part, and Yelena Belova are taken out of play, well at that point you pretty much have a villainous team of Avengers with the likes of US Agent, Ghost, and Taskmaster. Now, this obviously is missing a lot of pieces of the comic book version of the Dark Avengers, namely Norman Osborn, as well as other characters like Dakin and Venom, but it does pretty much mirror the same concept, and if you think about it, this makes way more sense than you're thinking. Remember, Marvel wants to lean into successful franchises, and is there a more successful franchise than the Avengers? There's not. If Thunderbolts is actually Thunderbolts with a subtitle of Dark Avengers, that would absolutely drive people into the theaters and garner the project an amount of attention that almost nothing else would. Now, how fans react to this sort of alternate version of the Dark Avengers, well, that's completely up in the air. And I'm pretty sure officially in that timeline, they won't call themselves the Dark Avengers just like in the comics, but we could very well see this group of characters led by Val along with US Agent and Sentry potentially square off with whatever team Sam Wilson puts together in Brave New World. Both of these movies come out one after another, and one of the next big MCU movies after that is Avengers 5. So you could very well see a clash between these two new teams trying to steal up the Avengers name, with only one of them kind of meeting the values of the original team, while the secondary team, controlled by Thunderbolt Ross, Val, and some other shadowy figures, could definitely take on Sam Wilson's team and create some on-screen dynamics that we haven't seen since Civil War. Obviously, we're going to follow this one pretty closely. Thunderbolts is set to drop May 2nd, 2025, and I honestly believe if this is a Dark Avengers movie, well, we're going to find that out long before the movie releases. But we'll have to wait and see.